In this one, I'm going to talk about uh, a really short one, hopefully. Is it a factor of the polynomial? We get that kind of question all the time. And they'll give you uh, a large polynomial, and they'll have a little term for you, and they want to know if it is a factor or not. And there's two ways that you can do it. Uh, the first is, of course, you can use long division. And then the other side is, in some situations, you're allowed to use synthetic division. In order for it to be a factor, you have to have no remainder. If you have a remainder, it's not a factor, just, you know, FYI. That's just the way that it ends up going. So we'll do, I'll do one long division style and one um, with just synthetic division. So the first one, is x minus 4 a factor of this big polynomial at the top? So I'll do x minus 4. Uh, doesn't go in here, but it does here, so I have to put an x there. x times x is x to the, oh sorry, x to the third, so it's x squared. x to the third power minus 4x squared. And remember, I, or if you haven't seen it before, I tend to, when I know this is a minus, I go ahead and change this just to give myself a visual picture, because obviously you're subtracting, but uh, 4 plus 1 is 5x squared. I multiply by 5 to get it to do this, so plus 5. And then to get the x to go up, I need to multiply it by the x as well. So I end up with 5x squared minus 20x. Once again, change the sign there because it's a subtraction, so I want to go ahead and do it here. Because really, it'd just be negative 16 minus negative 20. I just don't like to think about it that way. I'd rather just look at it this way. I don't know why I put a 40 there. It's 4. 4x minus 16. And then I'll do, um, okay, so multiply by 4. Four times negative 4 is negative 16. And these subtract, so change the sign, they give me zero. So, so the answer is, since I have a remainder of zero, my answer is yes, it is a factor. For the other one, I'm just going to do, um, sorry if it was a little tough to see there, um, I was trying to write and save room, should have done it on two pages, but I didn't. Too late now. Um, in this case, I'm dealing with is it a factor? I'm going to use synthetic division. Remember, change the sign on this one. Then you write all the coefficients down. 1, 1, negative 16, negative 16. There aren't any missing. That's good. Bring this down. I think I have too many 1s. Oh, sorry. That. I'm losing it. Um, so negative 1 times negative 1 is this. And you go ahead and these cancel each other out. Negative 1 times 0 is 0. Negative 16 plus 0 is negative 16. 1 times negative 16 is positive 16. So you get a 0 there. Bam, that eliminates it out. You'll have a remainder of 0. Really, this is all you need to fo focus on. So the factor itself would be x squared minus 16, but that's not anything that you need to worry about. The real issue here is that you have a remainder of 0. So is it a factor? Yes. If you had done it either way, and this had ended up being a number, whatever number it is other than zero, or this had ended up being a number, whatever number it ended up being, you would say, no, it's not a factor, because there's a remainder there. It has to go in perfectly, or there is no remainder, and that's how you tell if it, uh, uh, some sort of binomial expression or whatever is a factor of your polynomial.